Hello everyone, my name is Titi Jacob C. Richie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Today our discussion on matrices will be solving system of equation using inverse matrix approach. Last we learned how to find the inverse of a matrix 2 by 2 and 3 by 3. If you have not watched that video, please go to YouTube and search for the TJ Capsule Richie and watch that video. Before we zoom our attention to this, let me revise your knowledge on something. Remember we said that anytime we multiply a matrix by its inverse, the answer is nothing but the identity, uh, the unit matrix. Anytime we multiply a matrix by its inverse, it will be the unit matrix. Now let me show you another thing. If the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1, which you are aware. And we have another matrix A to be 2, 4. Let's multiply them. Let's find A, I. That's we are multiplying A by, by the R. So we have 1, 0, 0, 1 times 2, 4. So how do we multiply 1 times 2? So we have 1 times 2 plus 0 times 4. 0 times 4. 1 times 2 plus 0 times 4. Then 0 times 2 plus 1 times 4. Now what we have? 1 times 2 is 2. 0 times 4 is 0. 0 times 2 here is 0. 1 times 4 is 4. What are we getting? We'll get 2. Four. What are we, we got the matrix back. The matrix back. So another one more thing. Anytime you multiply a matrix by the unit matrix, the answer will be the matrix. It will be the matrix. So let's remember these two things. When we multiply a matrix by its inverse, we we'll get the unit matrix. And when we multiply a matrix by a unit matrix, it will be the matrix. The answer will be the matrix. So let's take notice of these two things because we are going to use them very well when we are going to when we are solving system of equation using inverse matrix approach. Now, how do we do this? Come with me. Okay. So now let's see how we can solve a system of equation using inverse matrix approach. Please, before we start, there are a whole lot of other methods we can use. But however, if the, if the problem is same, we should use inverse matrix approach. How do we do that? That's how we are doing. See, please, we can rewrite this as a matrix. Okay? So this monotonous equation, we are asked to find x and y. How do we do that? Using inverse matrix approach. So now, we can rewrite this in a matrix form as A, B, C, D times x, y. See, when we multiply this by this, we'll get this. We'll get by this. A times X, AX plus B times Y, DY. Then C times X, CX. Then plus D times Y. We'll get that back. So we have not changed anything. So this will be equal to EF. EF. Now, let me let okay, A to be the matrix A, B, C, D. Okay? Then I let capital X be equal to the matrix X, Y. Then I let B okay to be equal to E F. What will I get? So in place of this, I'll put A. In place of this, I'll put X. Then this I'll put D. So we we'll have this A X equal to B. Because we said this matrix, this matrix is A. Then this is X and this is B. So we can have a is equal to B. Now, what do we do? We want the X to stand in. We are making this X exercise. Please, this is matrix. So you can't just divide both sides by A. No. So what do we do? Let's multiply both sides by the inverse of A. So here by inverse of A, A, X. Here to by the inverse of A, B. So now, if a matrix is multiplied by its inverse, or the inverse is multiplied by a matrix, 
what would the anger be? It would be the identity matrix, as shown in that. So the inverse of a times a will be i x, will be i, then our x equal to the inverse of a times b. Now, when an, a, an identity matrix multiply another matrix, the answer is nothing but the matrix. So, if we are given a system of equation, a system of equation like this, okay? We are given a system of equation like this, and we are asked to find x and y. The first thing is that we rewrite the system of equation in matrix form. Then we let a to be equal to this matrix here. What do we do? We we'll find the inverse of a. When we multiply by this, we we'll get the value of x and y. That's the meaning. So to get a value of x and y, remember the x here is our x y. We say we should let the x be equal to x y. So when we have the, when we find the inverse of a and multiply it by the constants, we we'll get the value of x and y. It's very simple. It's very simple. Please, if you have not watched my videos on inverse of matrix, we are going to use it. We are going to use it. So please, you can pause the video, go and watch that video, and come back to this. So let's solve our first question. They say, find the value of x and y in the equation 2x plus 3y equal to 12 and 8x minus 5y equal to 14 using inverse matrix approach. You know, the equation limit us. So you can't solve this. This simultaneous and using elimination and substitution, then there is other methods you can use that because the equation limit us to use inverse matrix equation. So I'll read that. We rewrite this system of equation in matrix form. So this will be 2, 3, 8, negative 5 times x, y, okay? And it will be equal to 12, 14. I'll show you that. I show you that. So we let A to be equal to the matrix here. So 2, 3, 8, negative 5. Then we let capital X to be equal to X, Y, and B to be equal to 12, 40. So when we replace, we have A as equal to B. And I show you that our X will be nothing but the inverse of A. Now, how do we find the inverse of A? That's the question. So, our A is, the matrix A is 2, 3, 8, negative 5. Remember, we said the inverse of this matrix is 1 over the determinant times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. We learned this already. So now, how do we find the determinant? The determinant of this matrix so we multiply this 2 times negative 5 minus 8 times 3. 2 times negative 5, that will be negative 10. 8 times 3, that will be negative 24. On subtract, negative 10 minus 24 will be negative 34. So the inverse of this matrix is negative 34. So what's the adjoint? The adjoint. So we know the determinant to be negative 34. So what is the adjoint? The adjoint. So the adjoint, we say we swap the position of this and this. So we have negative 5, then we negate these ones. So that will be negative 3, negative 8, 2. So we swap the position of this and this. Then we maintain the position of this and this and we negate them. So that is the adjoint. And we say that the inverse is 1 over the determinant and the adjoint. So we know the determinant. We know the adjoint. We just have to take. To find the inverse. So we know our determinant, we know the adjoint, we can find the inverse. So the inverse will be 1 over the determinant, which is negative 34, then times the adjoint. The adjoint is negative 5, negative 3, negative 8, 2. Okay, so now we say x is equal to the inverse of a times b. So we say our x can be equal to the inverse of a is negative 1 over 34, negative 5, negative 3, negative 8, 2 times our b. What is our b? Look at it. This is our b. Our b is 12, 14. So 12, 14. 
So let's multiply that. Let's maintain the 1 over 34 here so that we multiply this by this. So remember, the row against the column. So negative 5 times 12 plus negative 3 times 14. Then negative 8 times 12 plus 2 times 14. So one point you have uh, negative 1 over 34 bracket. So 5 times 12. That, negative 5 times 12, that would be negative 60. Then 3 times 14. So 14 times 3. So the, minor, the negative 3 times 14 will be negative 42. The negative 8 times 12 will be negative 96. Then 2 times 14 will be 28. Now we solve this, then we use it to multiply that. So we have this. Let's, let's solve that. So negative 1 over 34. Negative 60 minus 42. That will be negative 102. Then negative 96 plus 28. That will be negative 68. 68. So negative 1 over 34 will multiply any of them there. So this will just be negative 102 over 34 okay when it multiply then negative negative 102 over negative 34 when we multiply this by that then this will be negative 68 over negative 34 so what we have when this when this divide this will get three when this divide this will get two so we can say that our s capital s is 3 2 what is x s is Capital S is small x, y, so that will be equal to 3, 2. So we can say our s is 3 and y is 2. So we have solved this system of equation. We have found the value of x and y using inverse matrix approach. So s is 3 and y is 2. You can try using any other method, you know, by elimination, by substitution, by graphing, you will get the same answer. So we solve another question so that you will be abreast with your concept. So let's look at another question this time around on simultaneous equation in three variables. The first one was in two variables, x and y. What of x, y, and z? So now let's rewrite this in a matrix form. So we have, remember the coefficient here is 1. So 1, 2, 2. 1, 2, 2, then 3, negative 2, 1, 3, negative 2, 1, then 2, 1, negative 1. This is our matrix times our x, y, z. So when we multiply this by this, we we'll get this back. And it will be equal to another matrix, which is 5, negative 6, negative 1. So we'll let A to be this, capital S to be this, and our B to be that. So our system of equation will become AS equal to B. And I show you what to do to make S a subject. So our S will be equal to the inverse of A times B times B. So now how do we find the inverse? Remember the inverse of a matrix. It's just 1 over the determinant of the matrix times the adjoint, times the adjoint. Now, how do we find the determinant? This is the 3 by 3 matrix. How do we find the determinant? The determinant will be equal to, remember, we'll take this, we see this is plus, minus, plus, the first column. So, we say 1, the determinant of, we will not pick what is under it. So, we'll pick negative 2, 1. 1, negative 1. Then minus 2. We will not pick what is under the 2. So 3, 2, 1, negative 1. Then plus 2. We will not pick what is under this 2. So we will pick 3, 2, negative 2, 1. So that will be the determinant. So let's find the determinant. Negative 2 times negative 1 will be 2. Minus 1 times 1 will be 1. Minus our 2. 2, 3 times negative 1 will be negative 3. 
then 2 minus 2 times 1 will be 2 then plus 2 3 times 1 will be 3 then minus 2 times negative 2 that will be plus 4 please we have a video on how to find a determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix please check it out on YouTube so now let's solve this we have 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 2 negative 3 minus 2 will be negative 5 then plus 2 3 times 4 is 7 so our 3 plus 4 is 7 1 times 1 is 1 negative 2 times negative 5 that will be plus 10 then 2 plus 7 uh, 2 times 7 is 14 so 1 plus 10 will be 11 11 plus 14 that will be 25 so we say the determinant of this matrix the determinant of this matrix is 25 now we need the adjoint we need the adjoint how do you find the adjoint of a 3 by 3 matrix i have a video on that please check it out so now we know the determinant of a to be 25 what will be the adjoint remember we said the adjoint of a 3 by 3 matrix okay is c transpose that's the transpose of the cofactors now how do we find the cofactors we say the cofactors is a very big matrix if you remember that so the cofactors remember we said this will be plus minus plus minus plus ma minus then plus minus plus that's what we use a very big matrix so we say when we come to this the determinant so plus positive positive the determinant of what is not under this one what is under the rest of the things at the top so that will be negative 2 1 1 negative 1 negative 2 1 1 negative 1 i hope you get that then minus remember it's plus minus plus so minus now we come when we come to this two we will not pick what is under this two we we'll pick what is under the rest of the things at the top so that will be 3 2 3 2 then 1 negative 1 then positive again on count to these two we will not pick what is under this we will pick what is under the rest of the things at the top so that is 3 2 negative 2 1 3 2 negative 2 1 that's for the first column the first column it's a very big matrix now we come to the second column the second column is negative positive negative so we we'll start things off with the negative now we come to the three we will not pick what is on top and under the three we we'll pick what is on top and under of the things in the middle the rest of the things in the middle that's negative two one we'll pick two one two negative one so two one two negative one remember it's negative here will be positive now we come to this we will not pick what is on top and down we will pick one two two negative one one two two negative one see when we come here when we come here we will not pick one two we will pick two one two negative one two one two negative one when we come to this negative two we will not pick two one we will pick one two two negative one i hope you get that then the, the last one will be negative remember it's negative positive negative so negative we come to this one we will not pick what is on top and down of the one we will pick what is on top and down of the rest so that will be one two two one one two two one i hope you get that i hope you get that the determinant of that now the last column the last column that's the under remember it's positive positive negative positive so the two won't come to the two we will not pick what is on top of the two we will pick what is on top of the rest so that will be two negative two two one then minus on come to this one we will not pick what is on top of this so we'll pick one three two one one three two one then the last one plus so we'll come to this we will not pick what is on top. We will pick 1, 3, 2, negative 2. 1, 3, 2, negative 2. 
I hope you get that. So we'll find a determinant of that and that will become the cofactors. So we have this. Now let's polish it so that uh, we can get our C, uh, our cofactors. So we have positive rather. So we we'll find a determinant negative 2 times negative 1. That will be 2 minus 1 times 1 is 1. So we go. Then negative 3 times negative 2 will be negative 3. Minus 2 times 1, that will be negative minus 2. Then positive 3 times 1 will be 3. Then minus 2 times negative 2, that will be plus 4. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. So the 3 times 1 is 3. Then minus 2 times negative 2, that will be plus 4. So we come to the, third, the second column. This, so negative 2 times negative 2, uh, 2 times negative 1, that will be negative 2. Then minus 1 times 2, that will be minus 2. Then we come to here, plus two times, 1 times negative 1, that will be negative 1. Minus 2 times 2, that will be 4. We have minus this, 1 times 1 is 1, then minus 2 times 2, 4. The last one, 2 times 1, that will be 2, then minus negative 2 times 2, so that will be plus 4. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. So, negative 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 2, that will be minus 6. Then this, that will be positive again, 1 times negative 2, that will be negative 2, minus 3 times 2, that will be minus 6. I hope you get that. You get that. Now we we'll just simplify these things, then we we'll, we'll get our cofactors. So when we simplify that, we we'll get our cofactors to be this. I hope you get the same thing with me. Pause the video and go over and see. Now we we need to find the adjoint. We need to find the adjoint. So we said the adjoint is the transpose of the cofactors. How do we do that? We say that the first column will become the first row. So 1, 5, 7 will become 1, 5, 7 for the root. Then 4, negative 5, 3 will be 4, negative 5, 3. This will become that. Then 6, 5, negative 8 will be 6, 5, negative 8. So this becomes the adjoint. The adjoint. So our adjoint. Our adjoint is equal to 1, 4, 6, 5, negative 5, 5, then 7, 3, negative 8. That's the adjoint. So we can find the inverse. So the inverse is 1 over the determinant times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. Now, what is the determinant? See, the determinant is. 25. So 1 over 25 times the adjoint, which is 1, 4, 6, 5, negative 5, 5, then 7, 3, negative 8. So since we know the inverse now, we just multiply the inverse by our B to get the value of x, y, and z. So, since we know our inverse, we say our s will be equal to the inverse times b, and this is our b, so we'll multiply it by the inverse. So our s will be equal to the inverse, which is 1 over 25, 1, 4, 6, 5, negative 5, 5, and 7, 3, negative 8, then times our b. What is the b? The b is 5, negative 6, negative 1. So we'll multiply this by that. So let's keep our 1 over 25 outside. Then we'll multiply this by this. So we get 1, 1 times 5, plus 4 times negative 6, then plus 6 times, plus 6 times negative 1. We take the second. So the 5 times 5, then plus negative 5 times negative 6, 
then plus 5 times negative 1. Then the last column, 7 times 5, then plus 3 times negative 6, then plus negative 8 times negative 1. That's the multiplication. The rows will multiply the columns. So we have 1 over 25. Let's solve this. So 1 times 5 is 5. 4 times negative 6. That will be negative 24. Then 6 times negative 1 will be negative 6. 5 times 5, 25. Negative 5 times negative 6, that will be plus 30. Then 5 times negative 5, that will be 5. Then 7 times 5, 35. 3 times negative 6, that will be negative 80. Then minus 8 times negative 1, that will be plus 8. What do we have? So we have 1 over 25. We solve this. So negative 24 minus 6, that will be negative 30. Negative 30 plus 5 will be negative 25. Then 30 minus 5 is 25. 25 plus this 25 is 50. Then negative 18 plus 8 will be negative 10. Negative 10 plus 35 will be 25. So the 25 will just divide each of these elements here. Then remember that will be our x. And the s is x, y, and z. So we just use the 25 to divide everything here. And that will be the value of x, y, and z. So let's find the value of x. So 25 will divide each and everything here. So 125 divided by negative 25 will get negative 1. 25 divided by uh, 50 divided by 25 will get 2, then 25 divided by 25 will get 1. So that's our S. So we can say our X, Y, and Z is equal to negative 1, 2, 1. Then we can boldly say our S is negative 1, Y is equal to 2, and Z is equal to 1. That, that will be the value of X, Y, and Z. For this system, this simultaneous equation in three variables. This will be the value of x, y, and z. I hope you get that. Please play over the video and I know that you get the concept. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Until we meet again on Matrices. Bye bye.